of an extraterrestrial event. As scientists continue to search for the exact answer to what caused the mass extinction 13,000 years ago, the fact remains that from the beginning of time, asteroids and comets have collided with our planet, causing unimaginable devastation. The questions for us are, when will the next one hit? What happens when it does? And can anything be done to stop it? The explosion of the Clovis Comet 13,000 years ago may have triggered one of the worst disasters in the history of the world. Massive wildfires and dust storms engulfed North America and drove much of the continent to the edge of extinction. Could this happen again? Could another comet unleash death and destruction? We can't necessarily tell where the comets are coming from. We just know that they are there. The question is, can we defend ourselves against the next big one? We're not there yet. I think we still have time to figure this out. But I think we have to figure this out. It's not for the ones that are going to cause a, um, you know, a, a bad day. We're talking for the one that's going to cause a bad world. It's not a question of if another comet will plunge into the Earth's atmosphere. It's a question of when. More than 5,000 comets and asteroids have been discovered by scientists roaming throughout our solar system. Most are small and would simply burn up on entering the Earth's atmosphere. But more than 700 of them are over a mile in diameter, large enough to unleash significant damage if just one impacted the planet or exploded in the atmosphere. And they almost have their own engine in them. They're almost like living. And if they stay back where they're supposed to, we're, we're safe. Uh, it's when they begin to approach and they get on this freeway heading toward the Earth that we have to worry that we're on the on-ramp with them as well. An object that is a few kilometers in extent would cause an explosive event on the Earth's surface that would dwarf uh, the entire nuclear arsenal of the countries on the Earth today. What if a comet detonated over North America today? If one similar in size to the Clovis Comet exploded over an American city like Boston, the damage would be devastating, dwarfing any possible man-made attack. If it just exploded as an airburst, it would fry Boston, basically just destroy it. There wouldn't be really much left at all. A bit of rubble would have been sort of um, end of the world sort of scenario for those people. The city and surrounding area, which is home to more than four million people, would almost instantly be left in smoldering ruins. Fiery debris would ignite wildfires across New England. If the fires could not be contained, they could rapidly spread across the land, threatening New York, Montreal, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and the entire North American continent. Not only would uncontrollable wildfires be devastating, but the massive amounts of soot and cometary dust that would be swept into the atmosphere and land on polar ice caps could accelerate the process of global warming many believe is already underway. It could be a lethal scenario for people around the world as the oceans reclaim thousands of miles of coastline. We're just starting to wake up far more to the fact that comets are far more frequent than, uh, than we've been led to believe. But what if a large comet were on a trajectory to hit the Earth? Is there any way to prevent it from unleashing massive destruction? Today, NASA is tracking many of the more than 5,000 objects roaming our solar system. NASA's goal is to find any threats in space well in advance of potential contact with Earth.